hello guys welcome to thamlib tutorial series in this video we will learn how to add custom css and js files to thamlib template engine all right let's get started in previous video we have created a simple hello world thamlib application and in this video we will see how to add custom css and js files to thamlib html template all right so look at here this is a resource folder under resource folder we have static folder and templates folder so this is the spring boot provided default structure for templates and static resources all right so by default spring boot will look for static resources under static folder so we keep all the static resources under static folder such as css files js files images so on okay now what we'll do we'll create a subfolder under static folder right click new one choose folder and let's call it as css and again right click on static folder new one create one more folder let's name it as js okay now what we'll do we'll create a simple css file and let's name it as main dot css okay and again we create a simple javascript file right click on js folder new one then choose file and then let's give a name as actions.js okay so in a main.css file let me quickly add some css so look at here for h2 uh, html tag i have added some css from for strong html element i have added some css and for you know uh, this p uh, html element i have added some css we're gonna create a simple function javascript function inside actions.js file function let us say uh, demo and just alert the message like okay time blip with css and js demo something like this and save it and under templates folder we're gonna create a new html file let's call it as add css css js demo dot html you can give any file name that you want to demonstrate the concept i am going to give a name like this so let's give a name as title as add css and js to family okay now the important step here is we have created a css file and js file right we want to include css and js files inside a thamlib template so this is the important step so also uh, just notice here so we're gonna use a link tag to you know include css file link and then we use thamlib attribute th colon href and then we use at so at basically we use to you know to provide a context path of path of our application that is the root a root uh, path okay and here we provide a css folder name and then name of the file that is main.css okay so remember the syntax whenever you want to include uh, css in a html template then you need to provide a syntax like this okay so at means it is a context path of our application so this is the name of the folder and this is a file inside a css folder okay and again here attribute it is style sheet okay so this is how we basically uh, add a css file to the timelip template and then again we will add 
uh, JavaScript to the template. For that, we're gonna use script tag here, and then th src equals to uh, at the rate, and then this is the syntax, and then the folder name is js, and then actions dot js. Okay, so look at here the name of the JavaScript file is actions.js and this is js is a folder name. Okay, so this is the syntax to add uh, you know JavaScript file in a timelip template. And again, in order to avoid this warning, we simply copy this link and we add to the HTML element as an attribute. Okay. Now let's add a content to the body. So look at here h1 tag we have provided uh, styles to h2 tag here inside our main.css okay and for strong and this p uh, html tag we have provided a css over here and then it should apply to the uh, html element inside in this file okay so let us see how the css will apply to html elements and look at here we have provided a button so this will call a demo function which is implemented in actions.js file okay all right we haven't created a method handler to access this html page so what we'll do we'll simply create a one more method handler let's copy this method handler and here we provide a name uh, a request URL like style okay and let us say the method name is style and we simply return a HTML page so HTML page name is add CSS JS demo okay now let me run the Spring Boot project all right now let me go to browser and just access this method handler in a browser just type localhost colon h080 slash style yeah here we go so look at here the css has applied to html element so look at here once i click on button it will alert a message like time leap with css and js demo all right it means that we have successfully added js file to the timelip template as well as css file to the timelip template all right so look at here the css are successfully applied to the html elements okay great so just remember this syntax how to include or how to add css and js files to the timelip template all right all right guys we'll learn a lot of things about timelip templates in next videos I will see you in the next video.